I'm Stephanie with My Time Fitness, and today I have a quick body weight booty burner for you. So we just have one group, 10 exercises, 50 on, 10 off, one time through for about 10 minutes. We're just going to focus on those glutes and really burn them out. And this workout is perfect to put on the end of like a lower body strength or even a HIIT or a cardio workout, especially one that focuses on the lower body. Um, just to give you that extra burnout and to really tone and tighten those glutes. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like and that subscribe button. I appreciate all your support. Uh, we're over 200 subs now and I could not be more happy and more excited about it. So thank you. Keep spreading the word. Um, find me on Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, where I have ad-free early access extended content. And you can join for free now. So please hit that join for free button. I appreciate it again. Um, other than that though, let's get into this booty burner. Start out with a bridge. So we're going to come down, bring those heels as close to those glutes as possible. Press up. All the way up. And back down. And don't rest on the on the ground. Keep that um, booty hovering. You can bring those arms up. Make it a little bit more difficult if you need to set down um, your glutes. Then please do so. You want to make this more difficult. Resistance bands, um, weights were um, needed. Next up, we have a reverse leg lift on our left. Just really squeeze there at the top. Oh, I'm going to switch around. I'm going to do mine off my forearms. Again, stick into that left side. We're just going to lift that leg up and down. Again, leave it hovering. Um, to make it more difficult, if you need to, you can set that foot down in between. But really squeeze at the top. You can also do this off um, all fours, and it's the same, same thing. Just really squeeze here up at the top. Next up, we're going to switch that right side. All right, we're going to switch to the right. Halfway, keep it going. Next up, we have bridge swings. I'm going to turn back around to that bridge. to swing up, back down, and swing to that other side. Again, don't rest those glutes on the ground unless you need to. When you get to the other side, squeeze.
Next up, we have a donkey kick on our left. So we're going to flip over here. And just bring that foot straight up and back down. This is a perfect workout to have a, a mirror so you can see to make sure you're keeping that nice 90 on those legs and poking that heel up towards the ceiling. It's hard to uh, hard to tell when you know you don't have a mirror. So so mirrors are great feedback. Next up, we're going to switch to that right side. Try to keep the movement coming straight from that glute. You don't want too much opening movement in that hip. Which is sometimes easier said than done, especially if you aren't um, familiar with the exercise. Practice makes perfect. Next up, we're going to come back down for some bridge pulses. and come back down, rest for a second, get it back up there. If you need to, you can rest every few pulses, so whatever you need. Or you can stay pulsing the entire time. Next up, we're gonna turn back over for a reverse kick plus a lift. And that burns. <laughs> All right, we're going to come up on our fours. So we're going to do a reverse kick and then a lift. Bring it back in. Reverse kick and a lift. Again, try not to open up with that hip if you can help it. that we're going to switch to that right side. Shake out those wrists if you need to. I'm going to do that kick and lift on our right side. Which some ankle weights would be awesome here too as well. Anything to add resistance. And we're going to finish up with diamond kicks. Okay, 
Let's go back around. Gonna put those feet. Touch those toes together like a diamond. And then you're gonna kick out, back up, down into it, that diamond again. Out, together, diamond. Out, together, diamond. It's nice and controlled here. Thanks.